Hello students, welcome back to Rosie Maths class. In this video, we are going to make a paper protector. For this, we need a circular sheet of paper. So we need to fold the circle to get two equal halves and cut it through the crease to get a semicircle. So fold it like this and you will get a crease here. This is the crease. Give a cut along the crease and we will get two semicircles. So now we see we get two semicircles. We are going to use only one semicircle to make our paper protector. This full turn is 360 degrees and if I take the semicircle that is half of the full turn that will be 180 degrees. Let's take this one for making a protector. Here we will write 0 degrees. This is 0 degrees and this end it is 180 degrees degrees. Now we are going to again fold it. This is step number 3. Fold the semicircular sheet in half and again we will get a crease here now. So now this is half of 180 degrees. So that will be 90 degrees. This is a 90 degrees angle, L shaped angle. So we write here 90 degrees angle. Okay. Step number 4. We need to fold the sheet again. So this is giving me 90 degrees angle. We will fold it again like this. Now when we open it up. We will see that we have got 4 angles. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now what is the measure of this angle? This is 90 degrees angle and this is half of 90 degrees. So half of 90 degrees would be 90 and 2. 2 4 is 8, 10, 2 5 is 10. So that means this is going to be 45 degrees angle. And we can find out this angle as well 90 degrees because each of these angles is 45 degrees. So 90 plus 45 equals to 530. This angle is 135 degrees. Now step number 5. Again we are going to fold it. So first fold, second fold. We complete it till here. Now, now we have to fold it again. Open it up. Now this angle here would be half of 45 degrees. What is half of 45 degrees? 45 divided by 2. 2 2 is a 4. 0 5. 2 2 is a 4. 1.5. So that is 22.5. This angle here is 22.5 degrees. So now to find out this angle here add 22.5 degrees to 45. So 45 plus 22.5 is 76. This is 67.5 degrees. Now 90 plus 22.5 will give you 112.5 degrees. 135 plus 22.5 will give you 157.5 degrees. Okay. I will label this. Let's say this is A. This is B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. So this is our paper protector and here we get 8 angles. Angle A, O, B, B, O, C, C, O, D, D, O, E, E, O, F, F, O, G, G, O, H, H, O, I. And what is the measure of these angles? The measure is 22.5 degrees. All of these angles measure 22.5 degrees. So there are different ways you can find out. You can do it 45 divided by 2 or you can do 90 divided into 4 parts. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 90 divided by 4 
or we can do 180 and it's divided into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 parts. All of this will give you 22.5 degrees. Now from this activity you should be able to answer these questions. Full turn is equal to 360 degrees. Half turn is 180 degrees. Full turn is like this. Half turn is just a semicircle. Like this. Half a turn is equal to half of turn means 360 degrees. So 360 divided by 2 is 180 degrees. Okay, half a turn is half of 360 degrees equals to 180 degrees. Measure of a quarter circle. Quarter circle means this circle here. From here to here. Okay, 90 degrees angle. This is we call quarter. The circle is divided into four quarters. Measure of a quarter circle is 90 degrees. Measure of a one fourth turn. Turn means 360 degrees. So, one fourth of 360 degrees would be equal to 360 divided by 4. 4 nines are 36, 0, 0. So, this is 90 degrees. One half of a half turn. That means one half of 180 degrees. That is also 90 degrees. 180 divided by 2 is 90 degrees. Half of 90 degrees. 90 degree divided by 2 will be 45 degrees. 1 eighth of a turn. Turn is 360 degrees. So 360 divided by 8 when we do 8 fours are 32 40 8 fives are 40. So that is 45 degrees. 1 eighth of a turn. And this one we already did. Angle AOB, BOC. All this is equal to 22.5 degrees. So with this we complete the concept of our paper protector. See you all in the next video. Thank you.